What's up guys? As y'all can see, it's a bright, beautiful, hot summer, sunny day in Mississippi. And there's the Mack truck. So let's take a look and see what Mack Daddy's got. You guys, come on. Man, it is bright out there. But it's cold in here today. It does feel good. I finally got my snowball factory kicking good up here again. So you had some AC troubles? Yeah, uh, I, for like the last month, I hadn't had time to slow the truck down. I've been having to run my roof airs, but to run them, you gotta run a generator. Mm. So I finally got my big unit back here going again. Cool. What kind of awesome new cool tools do you got this week? I got in some of the new quarter uh, M12 fields there. I know we uh, you did you did a demo on the uh, bit driver mm -hmm. 12 volt, but I finally got in some of the actual quarter amble ones. Hmm. Has that got the same? Breakaway and all is the other one, or is these different? The breakaway torque on this one's 71 foot pounds. Okay. And the fastening torque's 49.5. That's good for a quarter inch. Mm hmm. I mean, that's pretty stout for a quarter oh, inch. Oh, God. It don't weigh nothing. It's like it's not in your hand almost. What is the weight on that? 1.79 without a battery. <laughs> Less than two pounds without a battery. Man, that thing is way better. That's an awesome little tool, man. What is the price on them bad boys? MCF 901 G2. Because that is super light. So it comes with two battery packs, the tool, and a charger. For 249 Wow. And that thing's light. Mm-hmm. I like the ring, the light ring, too. Yeah, it's got a really bright light on it. That's Especially if you're in an engine bay or... Super cool. Well, I see you got some of the... That must have been the kit that's on sale in the flyer. Mm-hmm. There. Yep. And then... Oh, yeah. They're there. That's what everybody's what everybody... wanting. I what everybody's been asking for. So how many of them sets did you order? Uh, I believe it was a dozen of them. Wow. So, and I may have six or so left probably. Very nice, very nice. I want to get a set of those. Did you sell all your stud removers yet? No, I still have them. Okay, I want to get a set of those because that's super cheap. Good deal um, on them. Open some of these up so people can see them here. Let me get a blade. Super, super deal. Everybody needs to get a set of these. Yeah, because it's pretty much buy one, get one free. It right? is. I mean, what was that? M A, I need an F A. You might as well say for like 85 bucks, you get the Mac metric and standard stud removers. You get a quarter, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, and 7 sixteenths stud removers, along with 6 mil, 8 mil, 10 mil, and 12 mil. Yeah, buddy. And it was, it was like seventy nine ninety five or ninety nine or something. It's like eight eighty four eighty four. Eighty four. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I knew it was it was real reasonable for. Um, and you get both sets. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean that is a killer killer deal. 
can't beat that though. with a stick. So, it, uh, and then the scraper set, I know we talked about that, and you get the blow gun. That was a good mm -hmm. deal in there, because those scrapers are the bees. Yeah, they're bees. hanging right here somewhere. Right here they are. Yeah. These are some awesome scrapers. If you guys are looking to add a set, you're not going to beat these. They got some new ones out now, too, that they don't have the big plastic handle on them. Uh -huh. They're going to be... Uh, they're like both this width. With they're going to be the little width right. um, with like a rubber coated handle on them. Mm -hmm. And they got a short one that's about that long. And they got one that's about that long. Cool. So for your hard to reach places and hard to get to. and Is this the blow gun? It is. So that's the blow gun that comes with that kit. Yep. So if you guys are looking to add one, now's the time to do it because you get both of them. Got two left on the deal. Only two left, so... Y'all better be texting Michael and getting it if you want it. And, uh, I've had a lot of good luck with these here. Um, I know a lot of people run your gear in trenches or whatever, but. Man, them some long jokers right there. Ain't they? They're long and, you know, nobody's going to use the box den on one anyway. They just want to want, use the ratchet in, so. Mm -hmm. You can consolidate a lot of room by not having to have a ton of wrenches by you got the seven eighths on one end, the three quarter on the other. If you ask me, that's just a good looking wrench right there. Yeah. I like how long it is. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of companies don't want to make them that long because they know guys are going to break stuff loose with them and obviously <laughs> it's going to break the ratchet. So but that's a neat set. That's a standard set there. It's quarter to three quarter. Yeah been having a lot of good reviews out of these people really like them i guess you got the metrics too don't you i'm waiting on another set to come in i sold a set monday so i try to keep those what a, chuck about all the time. roughly what are they you don't have to look them up but are they three ish three ish that's not yeah. bad yeah right. i know the air comb bundle that was in the flyer this time those things right there are super handy and I did give guys a warning. I said, if you get one of these, because everybody does, everybody plays with them when mm -hmm. they first put the air chuck in them, it's, it will get you. That's what I said. This is it right here, the red one, mm -hmm. the 24-inch one. But um, this is the one that's in the flyer on sale. I was like, hold that joker with both hands, because if you don't. If you got a tractor or skid steer, or even if it's just riding side beside, you know, mm -hmm. grass is getting tall this time of year with all the seeds and everything in it. Those things are nice to be able to blow your radiators and condensers yeah. out. And I like it on air filters too, like big trucks, especially the the uh, the round, like the mm -hmm. KWs and the Pete's has got on like 379 models. Man, you can get in there and blow all that out. and That's really handy. Keep from changing your filter as much. Just blow it out and yeah. get a little more use out of it. But you're right, like a side by side, Man, those little grass seeds will stop that radiator flues, you know, the airflow completely up mm -hmm. just from the grass in them. That's a good deal. Sure enough. I've heard somebody say the other day that I've had several people here lately now that I've put them up here. They've been over here, but it's more eye level now where people see more of the precision torque sockets. I've been selling a good bit more of them. Um, they, you know, we, well, precision torque wrenches there on sale right now but and everybody loves the way the head design is on them, the mm -hmm. way they bite and they also have sockets too that the precision torque line that's oh yeah so got the extra in teeth in them we may have talked about them before but it's like since i moved them around to a new location in the truck right. they've people's been noticing them more and i've been selling a good bit more of was them. it a magnetic or is that a what kind of rail is it got? just oh, a regular quick type rail it. yeah peg rail I got to give it to Mac. They put some thought into the, like the wrench racks and those rails mm -hmm. there. They did a, they did Yeah, I mean, they're real that. nice aluminum rails and. That's so much better than them stupid plastic trays. Like, they ain't gonna last, those plastic trays. So when you buy a set of sockets, you might as well buy a set of. Well, the plastic trays holders. too, they got to lay in your box mm -hmm. like this and take up that much more room versus. Yep. Standing up. That's yep. true. Well, those pretty pretty reasonable price. They are. They really are. Um, that's the part number on those. Get it in focus. Okay. And then uh, 
that's the equivalent to and you them. keep these all the time so like I a do. guy buys one and ends up breaking one or I my, generally usually it, most have of the time it's probably losing them more than breaking them but i like the knurling they got on the bottom mm -hmm. of them that's a pretty good that's a pretty good feature right there so are those i assume they're probably cheaper than the usa made so they are they are Oh, that, that's the three eighths equivalent there oh, to the standard we just set. showed. What is that? Eight, six to nineteen. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a nice looking set of socks. And if you'll watch the flyers, sometimes they'll do like buy the chromes, get the impact ones free. Yeah, that would you be know? one to do it. I mean, I saw a lot of them that way. Uh, well, do y'all sell a lot of the cordless ratchets that y'all have? I sell a good bit of them for the people that run our battery platform. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm not going to lie. They're not the fastest ratchet, but they're a good ratchet and they're durable. Yeah. Uh, they hold up. Uh, the people that have them love them. Um, and you always have a button instead of a paddle, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that button better I might have one up here. I'm not, a, I'm not a paddle. I didn't like paddlings in school, and I still don't like them now. Um... It's not a paddle fan. Yeah. Here it is. quarter drive, let's find us a quarter drive socket. You know, it's, the way our battery platform is, it's always going to stand up on its end. Yeah, that's a good feature. You know, and it's not a real short, like, you know, a, a Milwaukee or some of the other ones that, mm -hmm. you know, you got your short one and then you got a long neck, um, or sometimes the long neck's too long and the short one's too, too short. You know, this one's kind of middle of the road there, but it, uh, and that battery may be about dead. That's not too slow, though. I mean, it's not. I, I thought when you said it was slow, I thought it was going to be a, like the brute's painfully slow that Snap on has. Like, it's almost annoying how slow it is. Really? Yeah. It's, it's really slow. Now, see, that's a little quicker, yeah. that battery. Needs to be charged. That's fast enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, how fast do you really need to zip a bolt out? You know, true. That's true. On a ratchet. Mm -hmm. So, and the three eighths is a little faster than that. But that's what I need to do is just sell all my Milwaukee stuff and switch over because I'm. It's going to be hard to get me away from that CT761 impact that Snapper's right. got. But. The half inch is a letdown. It's not, it's just not where it needs to be. Um, I do like their ratchets, but I'm, I'm thinking about, I don't know, if, if I went with yours, then you'd have one. That's what I don't want to do is have a bunch of different batteries. It's driving me insane. But you guys have got, that little quarter inch being so light is a, is a very valuable asset, just the lightness of it. I think I'd like to do that in the three eighths and half and in the Mac. You know, some people they want to talk bad about our battery line, but to me, it's a great line. Um, it's a durable line. Mm -hmm. You don't have to warranty a lot of it. I mean, it will take a beating. Um, and the battery platform. I mean, you can take one charger and you can run the 12 volt platform. You can run the 20 volt platform. And you can swap them back and forth on one charger. Yeah. Same charger charges both. Uh, you break a battery, you need a battery on the weekend, you can't get a hold of your dealer. You I mean, you can, throw, you can throw a DeWalt battery yeah. on it. Um, and DeWalt is steadily coming out with their line. A lot of their new batteries are petroleum grade 
to where they're going to hold up to the grease. They're mm. going to hold up to the oil. They're not going to break down. They're not going to discolor if you happen to wipe it down with brake cleaner on a rag to clean it up. Um, I mean, we're really growing leaps and bounds in our battery tool line. Yeah. I know the lightness. Man, just the weight of that is. And that ratchet's not heavy. Oh, my gosh, dude. That weighs way less than the snap-on without a battery in it. I don't, what's the weight on that? That's one thing Matt does. They advertise the weight on the box. It's not much. Without battery, 2.1 pound. Wow. And y'all's batteries don't weigh that much. Mm -mm. Like you, <laughs> that feels like it's hollow. So like how much is replacement batteries? Like if a guy says, man, I want to buy, you know, I want to buy extra batteries. Are they? A three amp hour Mac battery. That's one of the newer ones that I have. Um, eighty nine bucks. Eighty nine bucks. And then two, I got them in. I got to get them put on the truck. I don't think I have any on here. Um, here's one in a. Dewalt has come out with a five amp hour which is y'all seen on the new 12 volt 3 8 impact right. but they also have the 3 8 uh, other dewalt batteries out now the 3 amp hour not 3 8 but and as you can see on the box for these now they are oil resistant batteries okay so they're starting to they're starting to put some of them out far. So that's the same three amps what comes in that kit. Right. Okay. But they're starting to put them out with the chemical grade now that will hold up for the automotive mechanical industry. But see, okay. it's real similar. And they're finally starting to get now to where they're going to release some of the DeWalt stuff with the oil resistant that's good. line. I know most guys, I know Brent bought one of those DeWalt kits and he likes it, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think it's variable speed, though. I think it's all or none. Right. So, I think that was the only complaint. He really wasn't a complaint. He just said that was what, what he noticed was different about it, you know, so. I guess the. He said it's his new go to 3.8s. I guess that Mac, does they are they variable or is it all or nothing? Um, on. The quarter here, you do. Okay. You got three different Setting. settings. That's the reverse part of it there, I believe. Well, what is the what is the three eighths version of this rated at? The three eighths twelve volt in the Mac. In all honesty. I don't think we have it out yet okay. because they we, we've put so much time into that right. that one and this one I don't remember the price on it like I'm trying to decide right now in my brain like I've got that impulse of wanting to get the three eighths and, yeah. and the quarter but I don't know I don't remember what those were I know I should have bought them when they was on sale where you got the free impact socket, right. swivel impact socket. I saw yeah. I saw those bundles pretty quick with the socket yeah that was a good deal I think that gun's like 399 and it's two batteries charger but these batteries will work on mm -hmm. those right they will so in other words you could buy this and that and then were they gonna have a half inch kit too yes I've got them ordered okay so that might be the way to to go because that's what five something for the quarter inch and the three eighths roughly okay and you said this one was 250 something wasn't it I think so 250 260 okay well I guess that's what I need to do then and then start phasing out the other red crap. I wonder how long it'll be before those half inch guns come in. Anytime. 
Okay. Anytime. I mean, uh, honestly, I didn't realize they had already released them, and they're already out for order, so I got them on order. I'm just waiting on them to show up. All right. Well, cool. Because I have a couple people that first bought that, the three eights, and they're wanting the half, and I was like, well, as soon as I can get it, I'll order it, and then I saw the other day, well, well crap, we can already have it if, you know. Right. I just didn't realize they had already released it, so. There you go. Guess I was slipping for a little while. It happens. Happens to the best of us. A lot to keep up with. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to talk to Michael and uh, try to figure out my best solution on this, whether it be tool only or kits or whatever we got to do to, uh, to make it work. Michael being the salesman he is, he got me today. But he says he got me. Hey, we got a good deal, so I'm going to trust him on that. But like always, guys, thank you all for watching and hanging out with us today. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is right down here. And if you're not subscribed, it's the easiest thing you'll ever have to do, and it don't cost you a penny. You take your finger. Everybody's got a bunch of fingers. So if you take your finger, you just press that button right there. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all later. See ya.